Hey everyone, welcome to Tonic Thursday. Today I'm going to show you how to do a hip flexor stretch correctly. Observe. This is how you're hitting your hip flexors. You're doing it incorrectly. In fact, you're not really hitting your hip flexors at all. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it properly, okay? So, that is probably a stretch that you're familiar with. And you'll see people in the gym doing exactly what I just did. Sliding forward into this really deep stretch. Big arch in their lower back. And that arch is facilitated through an anterior tilt of the pelvis. So your pelvis sits, can sit neutral. It can tilt this way or that way, okay? If it's tilting this way, tailbone tucks under, it's a posterior tilt. If it tilts the other way, then it's an anterior tilt. The problem with the, what I just demonstrated there is it's, it's encouraging an anterior tilt of the pelvis, okay? So at the moment I'm neutral. Now if I go into an anterior tilt, like so, okay, what happens is that my hip flexor muscles actually, it gives them some slack. If I go into a posterior tilt, so the opposite, and I'm gonna do that by squeezing my butt and now my pelvis tilts in underneath, okay? It pulls my hip flexors tight. So we want to start our hip flexor stretch in a posterior tilt position because we're immediately stretching the muscle. And what that will mean is what you saw before, what you observed before there where I was sliding well forward, we're going to be able to get away with far less range of motion and still get a far more intense stretch on the hip flexor. So it's getting used to what that posterior tilt and anterior tilt feels like firstly. So the anterior tilt, Okay, we're pelvis tilting up, we've got a slight arch in our, our lumbar spine, and then the posterior tilt we facilitate by squeezing our butt, tucking the tailbone underneath, okay? So we're now gonna bring that to the stretch. So going back into this half kneeling position, just find a comfortable yoga mat or something like that you can put the knee on. The rear foot can either be top of the foot on the floor or like this. I prefer top of the foot on the floor, okay? And then the first thing we need to do is encourage that posterior pelvic tilt by squeezing our butt. And in particular, my left knee's down, my left glute is gonna squeeze. I'm trying to pull that underneath. I can immediately feel a slight stretch there, okay? What we also wanna avoid is our rib cage flaring open. So to remind our abs to stay switched on and keep that rib cage down, we're just gonna tap on them like Tarzan. Okay, a couple of times. Just to remind your abs to switch on, there they are, okay? And then the final element before we slide forward, is we're just gonna gently dig into the floor with our big toe on the front leg. So just re recapping, squeeze the glute for anterior tilt, Tarzan abs, dig in with the big toe, and now with maintaining all of those things, we slide forward a, a short way. Now I'm getting a nice stretch on this hip flexor, okay? So far less range of motion than what I was showing you before with this, this movement here. But here I'm really not getting a stretch on that muscle at all. So we can dial this up a little bit, uh, a little bit more by using a little technique where we activate the hip flexor muscle, the muscle we're trying to stretch, and then we release that activation. And in doing so, we will slide into a slightly deeper stretch without losing that posterior tilt and all the other positions that we're trying to maintain. Okay, so the way we do that is, okay, we'll go one, two, three here again. So we're gonna squeeze our glute to get our tailbone to tuck under. We're gonna brace our abs, we're gonna tap on. We're gonna dig in with our big toe. Now what I'm going to do, after I've slid forward, and I've found the beginning of a stretch, is I'm gonna drive this knee forward. So it's not physically gonna move, but the intention is to drive that leg forward. And at the same time, I'm gonna to try to drag this heel backwards. Once again, it won't move, but the intention is we're trying to pull them and push them closer to one another. For about three, I'll do about three breaths, but you could do up to about 10 seconds. Then we release that intention without releasing the, the squeeze glute and everything else. And what you'll find when you, when you relax that muscle that you were just, that we've been stretching, you will probably slide into a slightly deeper stretch. Okay, so what that looks like, here we go, we're gonna squeeze the glute, Tap the abs, dig in with the toe, and then slide forward all the way. So now I'm gonna drive that knee forward, pull that heel back. I'll just do about a three count. It's two 
two breaths. Now I'm going to stop pushing and pulling, but I'm going to keep my glutes squeezed. And you can see when I stop the push pull, I slid into a slightly deeper stretch. So I could repeat that a couple more times to see if I could slowly but surely sink into a deeper and deeper stretch. But we're never going to sink into this one again. So that is the way to do a hip flexor stretch properly. It's something that if you work in an office job and you're sitting a lot, that you should definitely incorporate into your daily routine. Uh, it will assist with lower back issues. And if you're training and, and whatnot, it's just a, it's a great mobility drill that is gonna make everything else like squatting easier as well. So that is my Tonic Thursday tip for this week. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please click like, share it with anyone who you think may enjoy it. And I'll be back again next week with another, with another Tonic Thursday. Cheers guys, bye.